hi guys okay so just a few things i wanted to say before i actually play the video that i recorded i just recorded it and realized a few things so i actually do need to apologize first thing i'm apologizing for is the fact that i had my airpods i mean i still have them in but i had my airpods in for the whole of the video and i literally just looked, i just filmed it i looked back at it and i was like oh my gosh i've got my airpods in still and i really don't want to re-record that so um it's just gonna have to get uploaded with the airpods in and i'm really sorry about that so I, that's why i just came to apologize about that i hope they're not too much of a distraction but i was actually listening to music and i was like okay let me just record this video recorded it and just completely forgot to take them out so i really do apologize for that and i didn't even realize until i just looked back at the video and i was like oh my gosh my airport's like you can just see these white things so i hope it's not too much of a distraction uh Sorry, my eyelashes just look very bad. That's another thing I'm apologizing for. I know that my eyelashes do not look the same. Um, these are from my friend's eyelash company that she is starting. And um, I'm trying them out for her and I don't know what's going on, but yeah. Second thing is um, Alistair is actually sleeping in the bed. So I don't know if maybe you, I try to like not catch him in, but you might see his head like a little bit so i apologize if you can and the third thing is i'm not apologizing for this but i understand that some of the stuff i got Taya are not for her age range so i know some of the stuff says for children aged three and over i'm f fully aware of that like alice is fully aware family's fully aware um some of the stuff Taya got is aged two plus three plus um but that's absolutely fine like Taya is always um there's always someone with her when she's playing with her toys um and for example like we know what some of the dangerous stuff are in some of the toys that would be classed as dangerous for example the baby Annabelle doll that she got it says three years over and over like three years plus so it's not the doll that's for like children age three and over it's the accessories that come with it so for example it has the small dummy it has a little necklace thing so on christmas day when Tate opens that um i will be giving her the doll i won't be giving her the dummy that goes with the doll i won't be giving her the necklace that goes with the doll because i know those are the dangerous stuff and if i do give them to her it's that she will be supervised while she's playing with them and yeah so before anyone wants to come on here and tell me oh you know it says three years plus why are you giving that to your child blah 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 um it's fine it doesn't say you have to give it to a child that's three years and over it's just a recommendation just for their safety but Taya is always supervised when she's playing with toys and stuff like that and we know what is dangerous in this um like out of the stuff we got her so it's absolutely fine so if anyone wants to come with their negative energy and tell me oh you can't give your child that yes i can but yeah enjoy the video Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 3. Oh my gosh, who's ready for Christmas? Because I am. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, this is what I got my 11 month old for Christmas part 1. So currently she's only 10 months old, but come Christmas Day, she'll be 11 months old. So that's why I'm going to just call it what I got my 11 month old for Christmas. And um, this is part 1 because there is so much more stuff that I'm getting for Taya that I haven't got yet. Um like a lot more clothes and um stuff like that so those will be like a part two so um yeah but i'm just going to show you guys what i got for her now so i can wrap them and just get them out of the way but yeah so um i don't think i got to a lot of stuff so far but some might end differently i don't know i'm gonna start off with the clothing stuff because i know there's not so much clothing stuff in part one because a lot more of the clothes and stuff that i want to get her are going to be in part two so yeah so they're just in this bag it's actually not even a lot of stuff it's just like three items but they're quite big um so the first thing that i got her was this disney Minnie mouse throw blanket it was six pound and it's from primark um it's 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 bloody freezing in the uk let's just be honest so it's time for like the thick throws she doesn't have one that's this big she has thick blankets but they're quite small they're like baby blankets because all the blankets apart from one um she had since she was a newborn so yeah apart from all of those we've since she was born we've only 
bought her like one new blanket and that was for her christening that has her name on it and apart from that all the blankets she's had since she was a baby so she's been using the blankets for it's gonna be nearly a year so i thought it was time to get her a new one i'm gonna get her some more like one or two more um but yeah this one was super cute love the color it's pink it's mini mouse cannot go wrong and it was only six pound in primark i feel like for kids frozen blankets primark is the best place to kind of go and get them from so yeah the set the, the next thing that i got her again was from primark is this little tracksuit um so here is the bottoms they're just baby pink with pink polka dots on them i got them in a size 12 to 18 months because that's the next size up that she'll be in and it was only three pounds for the jogging bottoms so they just look like this they have the little fake frill pockets and fake drawstrings because they can't actually pull um but yeah i just love getting her like little cheap tracksuits for you know when we're in the house because it is cold and when we're in the house and not doing anything or just like going to the park or something then she could just throw these on and to go with it is the matching jumper in the same size 12 to 18 months and this was also three pound so yeah it's super cute i feel like tay looks really nice in pink like I know people like girls in pink, but I think that pink really looks nice on her. So I got her that. I think this is the last clothing item, to be honest. Um, the next thing that I got her, this was actually supposed to be a birthday present for her, because her birthday's in January. But I'm having her birthday party the day before her birthday. Um, so I thought I'd give this as a Christmas present because I actually want this to, I actually want her to wear this the day of her party, as long as it fits. Uh, it's just this little pastel coloured jacket coat thing it's from River Island and it's in a size 12 to 18 months and it was £32 um, I just think this is really cute like this is so it's very girly it's very girly that's how it looks it's just really cute I really like it I like the fact that it has the different pastel colours and it has the little gold detailers on the pocket you know it just has little gold detail into it it's super cute um I just it's very me it's very tail so hopefully this will fit her because then otherwise what's the point of me giving it to her as a christmas present instead of a birthday present so we're gonna hope and pray that fits um yeah because i really like it so that's everything from the bag i think i have two more clothing items if you would class them as clothing um basically tay has a very big head so all the hats we have for her can't fit like they're very tight so i got her two personalized hats i actually have ordered her two more but they haven't come it's still been part two but um this first one is just this pink one with the two fluffy pom-poms i love hats that have two pom-poms like kids ones so i got these two um this is the first one and it has her name embroidered on it so it just says taya in a darker pink super cute this is um from the company my little chip i actually got this off ebay um, I love getting kids like personalised hats off of eBay from the small companies because they're so good. Um, this is in a size 1 to 5 years and Tay has a big head and it stretches which is very good. Uh, but this is just super cute, I love it. And I love like, when like they're like this age where they're like months to about 2 years old, you can get them stuff that like hats and stuff that have their name on it. But I feel like once they're like 3 and over you can't do it because it just looks weird. But like when they're small it looks cute for them to have a hat with their name on it. So yeah. So this is the first one, really cute. And then the next one I got her is just this beige one. What I like about this one is that it's really thick because as you can tell, it's actually lined inside. So this will keep her head like really warm. It's got two fluffy pom-poms on top as well. This does have her name on it, but it's not like plastered, like they're very big. Then if you could tell on this bow, it actually says Taya here. Can you see that? Yeah. It says Taya there, so it says her name on it, so ain't nobody gonna come tell me, oh, this is their child's hat when it's not, because it's got her name on it, you know what I mean? But um, this is really cute. I did order this, like, another one in this colour, so um, in part two, you guys will see that. So that's all the clothing items we have. I'm gonna show you the three pairs of trainers that I got her as well. So we're gonna start off with this one. None of these can fit her yet, can I just say, but... um she can grow into them this one is the air max 270s in a size five and a half she can't even three and a half trainers so yeah and it's just these ones i feel like these just look so cute on little girls so i kind of just had to get tail one why not um it won't it won't fit her yet obviously uh but when she's this size she has the trainers already i thought these were really cute so i got these for her and then the next pair of trainers I got for her, the next two are exactly the same trainers, they're just 
different colours. So the next one in a size five and a half as well. Are the Nike, it's the white leather Nike Court Borough Low 2. Um, just plain white trainers. I feel like every child needs a pair of plain white trainers. They look like this. They literally just look like Air Forces. They literally just look like Air Forces, but um, it's got like, this little buckle bit on. So it's just like so much easier to get their foot in. And it always comes forward. So yeah, so she got these. And then the next one, which are the exact same trainers, uh, but they're in size four and a half. Like this. So they're the same trainers, they just have a bit of colour. So they have a pink tick, a pink Nike sign, and a pink little hook thing at the back and here. And it underneath is purple, and inside is purple as well. But it's literally the exact same um, pair of trainers. It's just got a bit of colour. These are really cute. I hope that these fit her by her birthday so that she can actually wear these as well. You know, hoping. But yeah, so those are all the trainers I got her. Okay, cool. What am I going to show you guys next? Oh, cool. Next thing that I got her was this Paw Patrol White Clean Bib. Uh, this is what's age six months plus. It's just one of those really, I don't know if you can see, it's one of those really big bibs that are like easy to wipe off. These are good for like when you kind of go out, when you kind of go out to eat and stuff like that so that it doesn't, like their clothes don't get dirty or whatever. Got this from Poundland for a pound, so I'm definitely going to go and get like two or three more. But um, yeah. All right, cool. Now we're going to move on to the toys that I got her so far. But the first thing that I got, obviously, she can't use this yet. But I mean, when she's ready for it, then she can use it. It's 18 months plus, and it's the Coco Melon Alphabet learning cards. So obviously, one side it just has the letters, and then the other side it has like the words and a picture. So, for example, like one side it says A, and then the flip side is a picture of an apple, and it says apple, and then B is for Coco, B is for Bar, C is for Coco Melon, blah blah. Um, so yeah, I got her these. I think it was only two pound. And then, yeah, so E, for example, is the elephant that's in Coco Melon. Uh, they're all kind of mixed up. Y is for Yo Yo, which is the sister. Uh, and you got T, which is for Tom Tom, which is the brother. So you get what I mean. So. Yeah, I got her that so when she's learning her alphabet and stuff, then she has these ready. Ready to go. Cool. The next thing that I got her was this Chad Valley baby tablet, which is for nine months plus. She did actually have one of these, but I think Alistair broke it. <coughs> I don't know what happened to it. Um, I don't know if it needs batteries or what, but my nan did buy it for her, but I just got her another one, so it looks like this. Um, it obviously doesn't have batteries in it yet, but um, how it looks, and obviously it just has the numbers, it has like animals, um, and then different pictures, it has alphabet, yeah, basically different stuff, and then like here it has like one, two, three, animals, sounds, noises, so um, yeah so it says it's a uh, for learning activity modes nine different kinds of animals learns numbers and animal sounds and also learns musical notes and songs um so yeah, that's just a good thing for all kids to have really so i got her that this was from argus i think it was part i think it was 10 pound we could get two for 15 pounds so i got this and then with that i also got this which i did want for her and this is disney baby um 12 board books um so it says 12 sturdy board books feature early learning concepts and best loved disney characters um yeah but i kept asking like, like different people's question and everybody said that they've been buying this for like their children this year but i think everybody's asking the same question that i've been asking and is it that these books just have pictures or they have words and everyone say oh you know what i don't know it doesn't actually say because sometimes when it says like early learning concepts it's literally just pictures like there's no words and if that is then i'm going to be very disappointed um but the different books are one is let's eat one shapes how do you feel one two three let's play on the go colors all around move your body 
on the farm step outside animal friends and what the time is so i don't know if you can see but that's the pictures of the book so it's just got like a whole load of disney characters on them and uh, this is what the front looks like so that's obviously the books it's sealed so i can't open it. actually i can open it they told me i can't open it Duh. Duh. let's see but oh my gosh like if i open it and it's um and it's thing then i can't return it but because i know because my friend asked me because when i sent her a picture that i got it first thing she asked me is, is there words in it so let's see let's see oh my gosh it feels like christmas but i'm opening so I'm Right, cool. So it's what it looks like. Right, so when you open it, this is how it looks. Um, right, let's just take out this one. Oh my gosh, they're so tiny. Hell, I did not think it was this. I thought it was like a normal. I mean, that's a joke. <laughs> no, why is it so small? <laughs> Alright, cool. Oh, it's one of those. Alright, so it's one of those that it has a picture on it, one word. I wonder if all of them are like that, it's just this. But it has like a picture of like, I think this is Thumper, holding a carrot instead of carrot. And the next one is Ratatouille with a strawberry instead of strawberry. Oh my gosh, okay. I think it's just one word. Is that all of them? Alright, how do you feel? This must have more words. So it's just got one word that's so a silly happy <laughs> grumpy i can't believe this anyway i guess there's still some sort of learning for her isn't it so i can go report back to my friend that it's literally just one of those types of picture and um, one word and it's like the tiniest book i've ever seen in my life but i mean No words, but that's that. Next thing that I got her is uh, in Adrian six months plus, and it's the little lot colourful stacking rings. So it says five chunky textured colourful stacking rings. Uh, so this is how it looks. Um, Taya just doesn't have any of these. But, like every kid has like stacking rings, but obviously Taya she's never had any yet. I don't think. I don't think she has. So uh, yeah, I've got these for her. So you've got a blue one, a green one, a yellow one, an orange one, and a red one. Uh, as you can tell, they're all very big and chunky, and they've all got different textures to them. So yeah, I just feel like this is something that every child needs, and obviously they said that, and they just stuff on there. So I got her that. Next thing that I got her um, is something that's very popular, and did want to get her like i did want to open this you know but i'm trying to be stripped of my soul but this is the shapes and share picnic basket uh so there's many different good things about this so this is everything that includes if you can see that so it says let's have a picnic it has a picnic basket a tablecloth two shape sorting plates two forks two cups two biscuits two watermelon slices two sandwiches and two oranges this actually has batteries in it, so it doesn't make the noises, but I don't want to press it, you know. So this is what the basket looks like. I'll see it's a little handle. Here is this side of the picnic thing, so you can lift it up. This bit is where, let me just move that, where the shapes are. So obviously the orange would go in a circle and the star would go in the star bit. The watermelon slice would go here in the triangle bit and the sandwich would go here in the, sh in the square bit good thing about this is that once you put it on there it will sit there and then you have to push it again for it to go in so it's like they kind of learn okay well this goes in there and push it instead of it just dropping straight through which is really good and i believe that once it drops once you push it in it will tell you what shape um or what you just pushed in there from what i've been told it tells you what you just pushed in uh so that's that and then obviously it talks i mean it's off at the moment because picnic time just turn it off so yeah and then obviously once you push the stuff through you just lift up this side of the flap take them out start again and then you have the two plates that have 
um, each shape in the plate so you can place it on the plate in the correct place. And then it's got the little, I don't know if you can see the picnic blanket there and then the forks on the couch so it's like the child's learning what like a, a picnic is really like. I thought that was really cute. So I got that. The next thing that I got is a free class. I don't want to hear no one tell me, oh, she's too young for that because she's not. Tate is absolutely obsessed with my dustpan and brush, my broom, any sort of cleaning stuff. I don't know why she just has an obsession with them. So I thought, why not get her her own one? So I came across these Hey cleaning trolleys. Um, I think they do like the little Hoover thing as well, which I might get because I saw it in BM. But this is the cleaning trolley. So I did actually get it for her. So she has her own little toy ones. So she can leave my real ones alone. Um, so yeah, I got her the pink one. I think they do it in pink, red, and I don't know what other colours. But I got the pink one. She's more girly. And it kind of goes with her room because her room's pink, white and grey. So yeah. And then everything that is included in this. If it says... Right, so it says let's clean the floor with the realistic hair e mop and sweep up with the brushes and dust pan let's collect the dust in the bag then tidy everything away ready for next time everything to sweep mop and clean just like the real thing all right so yeah they do actually do the red one that's how it looks but i got her the pink one i got this from argus for 12 pound um so i think that's a really good price and yeah she just has her own little toy cleaner stuff so she can kind of leave mine alone and this i've heard is really like sturdy so it's not gonna like last like six months and then break so this should leave, last her a good amount of time and that's what they just look like when they're not on the trolley like on the trolley thing so yeah i got this from argus for 12 pounds for anybody that's interested in i think this is a really good thing especially if your child is like mine and has an obsession with like cleaning and stuff i don't know where she got that obsession from but you know she clearly has it uh, I think I've literally got about three more things left for this part of the food. The next thing that I got her again is three years plus, but this is baby Annabelle doll. Um, I was very excited to get this for her. So I got her this one. Um, I think this is just the original one. I think there is like different versions of this. There's the guy, there's the black one i think there's the same baby annabelle but it's a black doll and then she has a different name which i think i believe my nan got her the black one so i got this one um there's like supposed to be older and younger versions and whatever and then there's so 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 much accessories that go with these bloody dolls but as she gets older she'll get some of them not all of them but this is the normal one so i don't know i don't know i'm gonna show it to you but this one she basically closes her eyes when you lay her back uh, I'm gonna try it. So hold it upside down. I think she'll close. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, so this is her with her eyes closed, and then obviously right way up, her eyes open. It comes with a bib, a dummy, a bottle, and some necklace bracelet thing. I don't even know what that's for, to be honest. I wonder if it says because I didn't actually read what it was for. Half of this is in a different language. Is this in a different language? Alright, so it says when I see when you put a dummy in, it moves its mouth. Obviously, the bib is for like when you're trying to feed it the bowl so that they kind of learn, you know, what you're supposed to do and properly. I don't know what this little necklace thing is for, and I don't seem to see it. Alright, it says, oh, okay, it says uh, bottle feeding with real water. So I assume that you're meant to put actual water in the bottle and then she will drink the, the water. So it says, bottle feeding with real water, burps after feeding. So, oh my gosh, it burps, just like a real baby. It says, dummy sucking with mouth movement. So yeah, it says, bouncing fun. So yeah, it says bouncing fun, so I guess you just bounce it. Um, it says, tickle fun with baby pop. Oh my gosh, so it laughs. <laughs> Uh, you can rock her to sleep. So obviously, when you lay her down, she um, she her eyes close, and then she cries real tears. So I guess that's why you give you feed it with water so that it has the water inside of it to cry the tears. I'm assuming so. It does quite a, like quite a few stuff. And there's so many accessories that go with this. You can get the cot, you can get the high chair, you can get the swing, you can get the car seat, you can get um, I think there's some. 
I don't think this doll can, but I know there's some of the dolls they can swim and you buy them in the bathtub or whatever. I just got her this one because it's the original one. As she gets older, once she goes like two, three, four, she can get the ones if she wants. But I thought like, just get her the original one to start off with. This was sixty pound or fifty five pound. One of them it was from uh, the entertainer um, and delivery took like two days, literally like two days. So yeah, I know that you can get the different outfits for this. So I am actually gonna buy her one or two other outfits for this doll, which you will see in part two. I just haven't seen any that I like yet. Um, because I know how Taya is, and I know that this doll will sometimes be on the floor, and the clothes are gonna get dirty. So I'm just gonna buy like one or two other outfits just to change it into so they look a mess. Um, and yeah there's not much more to say on this i know this says three years plus and the reason for that is because of the small bit so oh now this thing can't tell me what this little thing is for this little necklace thing is for so i mean she ain't gonna be getting that uh she's not gonna get a dummy either i don't think unless i am physically playing with this with her i think i'm only just gonna give her the doll to be honest uh because she don't really need the other parts because she's still young she's only going to be like going on to one so she only just have the doll for the time being until she gets a bit older is the plan two more things so to go with the doll obviously got the doll's push chair uh there's so many ones that you can get you don't have to if you put your child the baby annabelle doll you don't have to get them the baby annabelle ram but i chose to because out of all the little like kids strollers that i saw this is the one i like the most there is one that you can get for them it's like a wooden stroller which is for um it's supposed to be like a kid's first stroller before you get them the one i've got but my nan actually got her the first one so the little wooden one so i thought that it didn't make sense for me to get a wooden one here as well so i thought i'd just get her the next one up and then know that after she's done with the wooden one or whatever she has this one here already so this won't get open straight away but i mean when it's time for her to get it open it's already here sort of thing if you get what i'm saying so yeah i don't i don't know what color my nan got her or whatever for the wooden one but this is the next one up so i believe this just say three years plus but um i have a friend that has a two-year-old and she said that her daughter's been using this since she was about one and a half like 18 months she started using this uh, she only used the wooden one twice but she preferred this one so i don't know but yeah i got the baby annabelle one i think i ordered this off of amazon for 40 pounds um i just thought it's really cute there's so many there's like actual branded push chairs that do toy versions which i was looking at i was looking at um i was looking at the ickle bubble ones i was looking at the um the chico ones the cos I don't know if I'm gonna say that right. The Cosato ones. There's like a lot that do like actual like actual branded push chairs that do toy ones. But I just got the baby Annabelle one because I thought it was cute. Reason being that it's pink and grey, so it obviously goes with her bedroom when it's gonna get open. And just because um I just thought it was cute. So it obviously comes with the frame, the wheels, the carry cot, and it also comes with a little bag. Can you see the bag? Right, cool. well, I don't know if you can tell but there she's got the little bag on her um, and what's really cool is that the bag kind of opens up to be like a little change of it so even as they get older you can also buy the nappies for the doll what have I put myself into um, yeah and then the bag kind of opens up so that you can actually change the doll like so it's like a change of mat thing so I thought that was really cute the bag this is what the carry cot looks like when you take it off and then another good thing is that like a real um, travel system stroller the um, handle is adjustable so you can put it higher you can put it lower so i thought that was really cool so it just depends on their height and how they feel comfortable with it which is really cool um yeah, so that's how it looks oh Whoa, that's my address i didn't realize i wasn't okay well yeah so yeah that's how it looks so this probably won't go over straight away but it's kind of just they're already you know super cute the last thing for part one of what i got here is this um it's for ages one, one at nova so it's fried there this is the mega blocks build and learn table so this is how it looks you can see that sorry you can see like my vanity mirror lights like go around but this is how it looks um 
be good to slide it as well. So basically, the tear has the pops already. Um, she has a bag of them. I didn't realise that this was something that goes with it. So, oh, is that what I Okay, well, that's the price I paid for. It was 19 99 from the entertainer. This is the last pink one that they had, so I just had to get it and struggle to get it home off with the push chair and other stuff I did buy that day and this but you know I need it back um but yeah so this is the table that goes with the blocks obviously it comes to the table I think these blocks I haven't opened it yet but I believe that these blocks that you can see on there actually come the table as well and then if you want more blocks you can buy them separately which she already has and then what's good about it is the fact that it folds away so it doesn't have to always be open and they're like you know when she wants to play with it or when I think okay let's play with it I can just take it out open it up and when she finished playing with it I can just fold it away like that and it could just fit in the corner or behind something or under the cot or just pack away so this is really cute it's okay what it does it includes 30 pieces and it's pink so you can't go wrong so yeah i got her this to play with her blocks and it's something where she doesn't always have to be sitting on the floor she has a little table to play with them on and it's good because she can just take off all the blocks if she really wanted to and just play with other stuff on the table but she kind of just has her own little play table for the time being but she's still small so yeah that is part one of this video there is a part two coming there's a whole bunch more clothes that is coming for Taya that will be in part two I think I also got her a little bag um I mean we're going her back but it's for her I don't think I got her any more shoes and then I think there's a few more toys I want to get her because I've been watching like other people's what they got the babies for Christmas and there's so many other like learning toys like leapfrog and stuff that I think would be good for her so I'm gonna get her um but yeah, so stay tuned for part two. Hopefully it should it should be out like a week after this video gets uploaded. But yeah, so thank you for tuning in to Vlogmas Day 3. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you're all in the Christmas spirit because let me tell you, I am. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 4. Bye guys.